All right, so this is the, the, the completed game. This is the mock-up of the game that I'm proposing for uh, the um, Truth and Reconciliation Workshop 101. This is, uh, this is called uh, Colonize, and, or, or, or the Colonization Game, perhaps. Uh, I'm not sure quite about the title, but as you can see, there's the, uh, there's the uh, outline of the turtle here. And if you look at the, it's, it's actually a map of North America um, with the, the turtle drawn in. You know, just to get the, get you that image that it's Turtle Island, the, the the game piece or the game board is actually twenty eight smaller sections again, like a like a turtle's shell, and the object of the game basically is that you have a, a number of different players here. I, I think I think I max out at eight, but I've got seven uh, game pieces on the board, and all it is, all it is. Hang on, let's uh, let's grab the Mohawks here. Let's grab the Hood Mashoni. All it is is a little uh, hair clip and a, and a piece of cardboard. But I, but it's just to emphasize, this is a mock-up of, of the of the game. So, as the game goes, everybody starts on on the res, and they get uh, every player except for the for the for the church and the crown. Every player gets uh, uh, a few of these. So so uh, every so for example, the Nishnab player will get five land cards, four culture cards, uh, five four language and four identity. And as they go around, they have to start here. Right, from the eastern door. So they have to enter through the eastern door and they have to work their way around. The object of the game is four times. They have to get around the circle four times. And when they get to the end, they hope to have as much land, culture, identity, and language intact. Now you have these uh, chance cards. They're like um, like in Monopoly, you have those those cards. They give you instructions. or they, But these ones tell you a little factoid. So for example, uh, Treaty, you land on a yellow uh, square um, so Cree lands on a, on a yellow square and uh, pulls a treaty card, says uh, Section 28 of the Constitution Act 1982 states that the rights and freedoms of the Charter are guaranteed equally to both male and female persons and a successful challenge any women who lost their status by marrying out are reinstated, gain one status card and one identity card. So, so these women, they get their, this player here gets, uh, where is it, where is it, the uh, identity card. So he collects an identity card, and, and then over here he collects a, a status card, this player, okay? So, moves on to the next, and, and, and there are different different scenarios. Historical facts, um, there are 13 cards in each pile, uh, with, with um, so altogether there are four suits, if you want to call it that, with 13 cards, and each of them has a little fact uh, about Aboriginal history, and then penalties. Penalties are different, uh, for example, this one. Uh, in, the Indian Act was born in 1876, creates a distinct lower class and is applied to all people. The Act defies as Indians, whether treaty or not, and then all First Nations players get a status card. So, so, so uh, um, let's see, the, the Inuit, for example, the Mohawks, the uh, Anishinaabek, and the Cree, all of those players get status cards. It doesn't matter who pulls the card, like it could be the, could be the Inuit in their kayak, and but whoever pulls the card, um, um, everybody everybody pays for something or um, uh, th there's one of these cards talks about the the lack of the apology from the from the Catholic Church about the, the, the residential schools so they get they get like a like a stack of shame cards okay and these are the shame cards here and one shame card negates um, several other different cards and I haven't come up with a combination yet but anyway um, that's the uh, that's the idea behind this uh, this this new board game